Hard disk drives have become rather useless for consumers when compared to newer drive technologies such as solid-state storage. But that is going to change rather soon, with their price per terabyte about to take a nosedive, and them getting capacities around the 100 terabyte range in fewer than 8 years. And believe it or not, the technology that enabled this huge increase in storage is already used in some of the more recent hard drives. Welcome to this episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you these enormous hard drives which you can already buy, or at the very least, will be on store shelves within the next few years, and lastly, whether or not they will have a chance against the more commonly used solid-state drives. Hard disk drives were initially introduced in the 1950s, but it wasn't until the mid-1980s that they became popular as storage devices in personal computers. They've shrunk in size and density as the amount of stored bytes has increased. While solid-state drives are popular for mobile devices, hard disk drives are still utilized to store information on desktop computers, owing to their low production and purchasing costs. Platters and a head are the two main components of a hard disk drive. A magnetic head, which travels swiftly above the platters as they spin, writes data on them. To allow for increasing densities, the gap between the head and the platter is always shrinking. Carbon-based overcoats, which protect platters from mechanical damage and corrosion, now take up a large portion of this space. Since 1990, hard disk drive data density has tripled, while COC thickness has decreased from 12.5 nanometers to roughly 3 nanometers, corresponding to 1 terabyte per square inch. Researchers have now been able to magnify this by 10 thanks to graphene. In the middle of 2020, Seagate announced that commercial shipments of its hard drives with heat-assisted magnetic recording technology had commenced, and that the assessment program for its dual-actuator hard disk drives, which give double the performance of a regular hard drive, had been enlarged. For years to come, the business believes that its technological portfolio will allow it to grow capacity and enhance the performance of its hard drives. Graphene enables two-fold reduction in friction and provides better corrosion and wear than state-of-the-art solutions. In fact, one single graphene layer reduces corrosion by 2.5 times. That in turn also much improves the durability and lifetime of those drives, which considering their huge storage size is of most importance since the more data you can save on one disk, the more you can lose when the hard drive actually dies. While increasing hard drive capacity, aerial density, and linear read slash write speeds is crucial, random read and write performance per terabyte is declining, which has an impact on how data centers run. Hard disk drive manufacturers are creating hard drives with two independent actuators, thus placing two drives into one 3.5-inch packaging, to boost sequential read and write rates per terabyte performance. Seagate was the first HDD manufacturer to offer its multi-actuator technology in late 2017, and it began sampling such drives, which have been branded as Exos Mach 2 with select clients in early 2019. Seagate plans to employ ordered granular media with a density of 5 to 7 terabytes per square inch in order to reach 105 terabytes. To go even farther, the world's leading hard disk drive manufacturer intends to employ completely bit-patterned media with an aerial density of at least 8 terabytes per square inch. Because all new forms of media will require some form of aided magnetic recording, Hammer will continue to exist in some form for many years to come. Western Digital's biggest capacity devices, the WD Ultrastar 18 terabyte and WD Ultrastar DC 20 terabyte, already feature the Hammer technology. Of course, this is just the start of technological progress, and as time goes on, more and more spacious structures based on conventional magnetic recording and shingled magnetic recording will emerge. Western Digital intends to deliver media with capacities of 20 and 24 terabytes in 2021, 22 terabytes and 26 terabytes in 2022, and 26 and 30 terabytes in 2023. And this isn't even close to the limit of what this new hammer technology will enable. Since the growth is close to an exponential function, Seagate is projecting that by 2029, they'll be able to pass the 100 terabyte wall. All these variations of the hammer technologies are still in their early stages, but drives produced with all of these approaches combined should be able to hold up to 60 terabytes of data and maybe more without any doubts or expectations of technologies that have not been properly tested just yet. 
Other advances, such as dual actuator designs that potentially double read rates, should result in significant increases in hard drives over the next several years. And it's the only way to be able to make bigger jumps in capacity than the smaller increments achievable with all the most common methods used at the moment. Think about it this way, Western Digital says that the old ways of creating hard drives are the best, while Seagate says hammer technologies are what we need. Hard drives must increase their capacity in order to compete with solid-state drives, but they must also enhance sequential and random performance in order to remain relevant for cloud data center operators. Hard drive sequential performance rises in lockstep with aerial density, resulting in year-over-year -year increases in HDD performance. However, as a drive's capacity grows, its random IOPS per TB performance decreases, requiring big data center operators to counteract this using caches in order to maintain their quality of service, which incurs additional expenditures. Seagate and Western Digital have been working on ways to dramatically improve HDD sequential and random performance by combining many actuators and read, write heads into a single disk. Seagate's Mach 2 technology, which uses two actuators, may nearly quadruple a hard drive's IOPS per terabyte performance and significantly boost sequential read-slash-write rates. Furthermore, Seagate can practically cut the time it takes to test one drive before shipping using two separate actuators, lowering its production expenses. As HDD manufacturers transition to systems with additional platters, the benefit of two actuators will become even more substantial. There are roughly a dozen firms that employ Seagate's Mach.2 PMR-based hard disk drives in their data centers already, however these drives are not branded. The business intends to make Mach.2 HDDs accessible to other clients in the future, although it does not say when that would happen. However, as its drives reach capacities of more than 30 terabytes, the firm plans to employ its Mach.2 technology more widely as drives with only one actuator would not provide adequate performance, and a one actuator design would raise the total cost of ownership. So what is your opinion on this potential future in which hard disks may actually become competitive towards solid-state drives again? Would you consider buying one of those giant storage devices yourself, or is your fear of saving so much data on one device too high? Also, would you excuse the huge performance and latency loss compared to solid-state drives? Please tell us in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. The users of storage don't have to worry about anything. They can plug the drives in and they'll run and they'll look just like any other drive with a lot more capacity. Hammer enables us to have a path for the next 10 years to provide more and more density inside of a box. And within the Seagate culture, there's that desire, that passion to be the best at what we do and really change our world. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.